So we're going to start a new architectural file. So for creating um, a foundation and footings, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to draw a basic, um, like, one-story building, rectangular walls. Um, so I'm just going to grab my walls. I'm going to switch to just an exterior brick on metal stud. And we'll just go something like that. So it doesn't super matter for this assignment. This is more about building um, the foundation or like basement walls and footings. So now that we have those, actually I want to make sure that they are only one story tall. So we're going to go up to level two. So now we have walls in there. I'm going to look at my east elevation. So you can kind of see what we have going on. I'm going to bring these in to make it a little easier to see everything. There we go. So we have level one. Um, since I'm only going to do a one-story building, I'm going to rename level two roof. And yes. So then we will be adding a roof on top of here also. I wonder if I did my walls inside out again. It's kind of what always happens to me. So, I'm going to flip all of these around. Okay. So, there is our brick wall. So, underneath our level one is where our uh, foundation walls is going to be. And in this one, it's going to be our basement walls. So that's pretty common here um, in the Midwest and house designs. So, to add in a new level... So I'm under my architecture tab and level, and I'm just going to kind of move my cursor. I'm going to go eight feet below my other one. There we go. And if you didn't quite get that set to eight feet, you can type it in here also. I'm going to call this a bottom of foundation wall. And yes. So what's going to be happening is that this will be the bottom of where my foundation wall will go and it will go all the way up to level one and footings will go underneath of it. But um, my bottom or my wall height is going to be eight feet, which is probably about average for a basement. The minimum is seven feet. So with that, we need to um, create that wall. So I'm going to go to bottom of foundation wall level. And I want to be able to see my first floor. There we go. And I'm going to grab my wall. So the type of wall that we would do for foundation would typically be like a um, 8 inch or 12 inch masonry. Kind of depends on the size and things like that. I'm just going to do 12 inch masonry. So it's be a foot thick um, cinder blocks basically. And I'm going to draw this around. Oh, they are overlapping. So what is that? Oh, because it's too tall there. So let's just hit X. I'm going to delete that. So if I go back down to here and I do my wall again. So before I draw, I want my base is going to be the bottom. And the top is going to be level one. So that'll prevent it from um, going on overlapping. So you want to make sure your walls are perfectly lined up with the outside of them. That looks good to me. And if we look at 3D, we can see like that cinder block walls there. And look at our east we can see again that it's going from the bottom of our foundation wall level up to level one so then uh, we just need to add in our footings so I'm gonna go to my level one and so footings are part of the structure and we are going to use a wall foundation um, so footing so this looks just like that T style. Um, so T and slab are kind of the most common ones that you'd be doing. 
um, tea, I find that I do a lot more. Um, so it's going to create that blue section underneath the wall, and that is going to be our footing. So if I just click wall, um, it's going to be 36 by 12. Uh, so like you saw in our slideshow, they should be at least twice as wide as the, the foundation wall. And all you got to do is click on all of them. And it is telling me that it's not visible because it's below that level. You could also do this from the 3D view. Oh, and actually that is wrong. Let's... Might actually be better to do it from the 3D view. Because I was on level 1, so I was doing it underneath my level 1 wall. I want to be under my foundation wall. So I'm actually just going to do it in my 3D. So I'm just going to click all four of these walls. And now we have that little footing underneath our foundation. Um, there's a lot more complicatedness that happens with figuring out, like, do you need a beam in the middle if it's a really long span or a column going down to help disperse the weight or load-bearing walls, things like that. We're not diving too deep into that in this class just because it's not um, super necessary. It, if you go into architectural school, you'll learn all of that there, but kind of just the basics of things. Um, we're just going to put a footing all around the outside of our house. So your task here to finish this up is to add a first floor in here. Oh, and actually, we can do a basement floor. I'll show you how to do a basement floor. So a first floor, just like how you normally would on level one, we'll add in a floor. I'm going to do a wood floor. Okay. So for our basement wall, or floor, so our bottom of the foundation wall, so that is like the bottom of our basement, the floor we're going to do for that is going to be our 12-inch concrete. And I'm just going to put that all around. So that's just a concrete basement floor. And then typically, like if you had wood or carpet, it would be put on top of that concrete. But we're going to do that. So now we have our concrete floor. We have a wood floor. I can hide this so you guys can see. So there is our concrete floor that basically fills in around the footings, our basement wall, our first floor walls, first floor floor. So then you on your own are going to add in a roof. Um, and do whatever style you want. So once you have that done, um, we're going to make it real simple for turning on. We're not going to do sheets or anything. Um, I'm going to skip ahead here and get a wall on, and then I'll show you what you're going, or get a roof on, and then I'll show you what you are going to be turning in. So once you have your roof on, what you're going to turn in is just a picture of your house. Um, if you want to do a screenshot, I'll show you how to do that, or you can take a picture with your iPad to turn in. But what I want to see in your picture is that you have footings and foundation walls that are the, um, not brick, but the cinder block, the exterior walls of your house. You have floors on your first floor and basement and a roof. Uh, make sure your walls do go up to the roof um, so there's not that weird gap in there. And you're just going to take a picture showing this. So I did hide two of my walls. If you want to know how I did that, I can unhide them quick. Um, so you'll click on a wall, right click, hide in view, element. To bring it back, you click the little light bulb. It shows what it is in pink. You can do unhide element and then turn off a little light bulb. Um, so you can just take a screenshot of this to turn in or a picture on your iPad. If you want to do a screenshot on the computer, you can search for the tool snipping tool and you'll just click new and how this works, whatever you click and drag over, whatever's in this box, it takes a picture of. You can click this is the save button and call it foundation and I'm going to throw it on my desktop and save and then you can upload that to Schoology. If you want to do a rendering, you could do a rendering instead. So maybe um, you did a rendering and you want to take a screenshot of that. So 
click new and click and drag to take a picture and save it and turn it in. So that's what I'm looking for. Real simple. Um, just the basics on how to build a basement and footings. And then we kind of have covered all of our areas of a house and we'll get ready to make a full house.